My Hero Academia ended a couple weeks ago, the manga. And it was one of the most bizarre things because the ending I thought was pretty expected for a while. And for some reason, people just lost their minds. And before I get into spoilers, I'm just going to say overall, it felt rushed to me. It felt like there's a lot of stuff that might happen that didn't get full closure. I didn't like all the decisions that were made in the final fight for sure. I don't want to say too much, obviously, to not give anything away. But the way that people just lost their minds was insane. I'm mainly going to talk about the last two chapters because that really seems to be what's driving like a lot of the freak out. So from this point, I will be talking about those two chapters. There will be spoilers. So let's just get into it. So there's kind of two big things that if you've seen any anime memes recently, like on Facebook or Reddit or whatever, you've probably seen all this shit going around. So the first one is about Deku and Uraraka or Ochako, whichever. And I guess the people that were shipping them are fucking freaking out because we didn't get like the full-blown explicit confession, hearts in the air, happily ever after. Personally, I also prefer that style where it's much more open and direct. But the way that the manga has handled any kind of romantic thing the entire time has just mainly been little jokes here and there, a little bit about feelings here and there. It's never really been the focal point. And I guess the target audience, seemingly is still young teens. So you're just not going to get that kind of scene is how it seems to me, at least from Japanese media. So I want to talk about these two panels. I want to talk about these two pages real quick. The first one is this. We see Uraraka. I skipped part of it, but she's upset about how Toga died. And she doesn't want Deku to be here seeing her like this because she's crying and upset. And this is where they had one of their moments before. So she's pretty upset that he's there. And he's like, you know, I just figured you'd be here because you looked upset. And they do have a connection, obviously. And to me, I'm kind of fine with accepting this as them ending up together, along with a couple images near the end. Where he essentially says to her, you're always suppressing your feelings. You've always been this way. And we get a bunch of flashbacks in the panels. She's crying, and then he says, you've been saving me every step of the way. You're my hero, and I can't keep taking that strength of yours for granted. I mean, as far as shonen stuff goes, and combined with, I think, like the Japanese culture, from what I can tell, I'm not going to pretend to be an expert, I haven't been there, purely basing on manga and anime, TV. This seems to me about as much as we're going to get, even if the author were to come out with like 10 more epilogue chapters. So I'm fine to accept this as that's a confession and they end up together. But a lot of the internet is definitely not accepting it. <laughs> and he comforts her and they kind of bond because they both killed people that they didn't want to. Obviously, so that, that's been one of the big things in the manga is he's tried to save everyone and they couldn't. And then in typical shonen fashion or rom-com or pretty much anything anime, they get interrupted And we see that Deku kind of burned out the rest of his embers because he said that he used the rest of it to jump over there to comfort her. So to me, I think that's about as much as you're going to get. Obviously, it's all we did get, but, you know, that's as direct as it's going to be to not go all, like, mushy-gushy for who the audience is. So people are combining that with this image where Bakugo's hand goes behind her even though he's standing straight sideways. And pretty much any meme you see is going to be her with his hand in his ass or him having sex with her or Deku being a cuck. Even though, as far as I can tell, it looks like she's wearing his mask on her outfit now. And to me, it just seems pretty obvious that that's not the intention. And people were just kind of salty and losing their minds. And people have combined that with Deku losing his quirk and becoming a teacher to say that it shits all over the message of the manga. And obviously one of the big themes of the manga is that you don't need superpowers to be a hero. And I get 
that he should still be out there, quote unquote, being a hero, even with no powers. And to me, that just seems like a very literal interpretation of the message. He's still teaching heroes. He's still contributing. It's not he lost his values. I understand that he ran into danger in the very first chapter of the manga, but it just seems like a really uncharitable interpretation of that line or that theme because people didn't get the ending they wanted, which is a bit unfortunate because I think the ending overall, aside from being rushed, kind of what we expected. Also, you can see a better image of his mask on Ochako in the top left here. This is a more straightforward one. But when you combine him being a teacher for eight years, well, six years, because he had to graduate first, along with that one shot of Bakugo near Ochako and him not, like, fucking her in a panel, they've just called Deku a cuck loser working at McDonald's, and it's fucking bizarre. (laughs) And he even tells a kid here, like, you can be a hero also. And that he's still inspiring the next generation. He's still molding the minds of the next generation. Like, I don't get, like, the vitriol for this ending. And people talk about how he's a quitter and he just became a loser. Teachers are pretty respected. And some of the teachers in this world were the top heroes. So in this world in particular, I think teachers are even more respected. Which makes it kind of a nonsensical interpretation to me. And then we get this one more panel where we see... This is after he says that he's missed it, but he's glad that he can still contribute to society. And I think it's a decent way to show that he's matured and doesn't and has realized that he doesn't literally have to be out there stopping villains to be important to society and inspirational to people. And we also did get a panel of the old lady who ignored Shigaraki as a kid going out of her way to comfort a kid a couple chapters ago that I didn't feel like digging up. So the message is still clearly there and it's there throughout. People are just salty as fuck. And at the very end, All Might tells him, you know, you've earned this power fair and square and that Deku spent all of his time and essentially all of his money building a suit so that Deku could be kind of like an Iron Man of this world because he doesn't have a quirk. And this is obviously this. Oh my God, I'm not editing this. So there you go. And this is obviously something that All Might uses in the fight against All for One where he's in like kind of this Iron Man suit where they've put quirks into it. So even here, after all this time, just because he says he doesn't see his friends as much anymore, everyone's like, oh, he's a loser who fucked off. Even though he, he still is in touch with them, he's just an adult. And his friends invested a lot, particularly Bakugo, in making him be able to physically become a hero again despite being quirkless. So to me, while the ending is rushed and it's definitely not as fleshed out as I would have liked and there's things I would have liked changed, the people having the meltdown, it's just one of those things to me where I think that people having ending in mind, if they don't get that exact ending, they just freak the fuck out and want to retroactively pretend like the entire series is dog shit. So yeah, I mean, My Hero's over. The show's catching up to the ending soon. It's moving pretty fast through this last big battle. Wouldn't be surprised if they go the movie route, honestly. But, you know, overall, I think it's a really good series. You can see why it's popular. I didn't make it... I don't think I've ever made a video on My Hero, but just broadly speaking, I love the character work. Obviously, the Todoroki family is super interesting. I like all the stuff between Deku and Bakugo. There's a lot of stuff in there that's really good. And I think just to dismiss it or throw it in the trash can because your ships didn't sail or whatever the fuck is weird. Not that people have some legitimate criticisms for it. And that's fine. I just don't think it's as bad as people want to make it out to be. So yeah, I'll leave it there for this one. I just wanted to mention this because I've been reading the manga shit, I think for six years at this point, seven years. I wasn't there right at the beginning. When I started reading it, it was right after he fought Muscular, which would have been like season three. So however long ago that was. But yeah, I mean, it's a bummer it ended. Jujutsu Kaisen's on the way out. That one only has five chapters left. I don't know how it's going to wrap up because that does not seem like enough to me. But 
Maybe if everyone dies and there's nothing to wrap up, who knows? <laughs> All right, I'm going to leave it here for this one. If you read it, let me know what you think. If you've been a enjoyer of the memes or you don't like the memes or whatever, I try to respond to all the comments that aren't just insults. If you're still here, like and subscribe and all that shit. Thanks. See ya.